Alright guys, how we all today? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, I'm here on the Minecraft uh, YouTube channel, and I'm on the Minecon Live 2019 update highlights. I want to go through and just, you know, talk about it, get my, you know, thoughts, my opinions, you know, and just, you know, get my overall reaction to it. Um, so yeah, why don't we just, uh, jump right into it. So guys, yeah, as I said again, I'm here on the Minecraft Live channel. See, I'm subscribed. I have notifications on. And you know, you should do that to my channel as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I'm just gonna play this, and I just want you know when the subject pops up, I want to you know give a little thought, a little bit of information that I know already because I did watch this live, um, the day of. Um, so I know, uh, you know about everything. <laughs> so yeah, I guess uh, let's just start it, and I'll be pausing and playing, you know, so I could talk and react. So yeah play okay so we got the bees right so the bees the bees you know i think they'd be pretty cool i think you make bee farms you know they can make honey and all that um i think that they'll mostly be used for crops though because it did show in the live version and not in this highlight that bees can actually pollinate flowers and then make your crops grow even faster um so i think people are gonna be using those you know to help out you know for the crop farms and whatever um no more crops like wheat, uh, you know, carrots, potatoes. Um, not any like the weird ones like um, sugar cane. Or I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not positive, but I know they do grow um, at least of those crops. Uh, crops. They definitely look really cool. Oh, and also um, to get honey safely, um, you gotta use shears. Finally, another use of shears on one of these uh little honey. honey what, do you, what do you call these? Nests. Nests. Bee. 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 Beehives. Wow. Okay. And um, yeah. And they actually use real world stuff because um if you uh try to you know get you know honey from beehive and you don't put any smoke or any like you know smoke to calm down the bees actually attack you so minecraft actually did the same thing with the campfire so you put a campfire underneath a beehive um it'll calm down the bees and when you use your shears you won't get attacked by them um if you try to take out the honey which is really cool um and the honey i think is be really important for these honey blocks which is basically just a retextured slime block but they're really cool because players can like stick on them and like go on them and move on them and you can't jump off them so i think they're gonna be used a lot uh oops they use a lot really in uh you know maps and you know wrestling contraptions of course and um yeah they can also hold mobs so you know you could have a uh what's it called you could have a feedback tape you know like you have all four pistons just pushing into each other blocks you could have animals on top um, and you have them going around and spiraling around animals villagers whatever I think I think these will really help um, flying machines so you can use flying machines on villagers just put them on a <laughs> a honey block flying machine and send them to your base uh, you know blocks block hundreds and blocks away I don't know but yeah and then we come over to uh, the scripting this is like coding I, I, I think it looks pretty cool um, definitely I'm not too interested in it myself i'm sure there's a lot of people that are but i don't really know too much about it but it really looks really interesting and cool especially this i really like this and you can tell it's bedrock um because you know how this how it just looks you know i've been giving one a hook that's you know not java java has their text down here so this is on bedrock edition um and we go to target block this i think will be really cool basically if you shoot an arrow or if any arrow you really hits the inside parts of the block i'll show you the bullseye um it will send a stronger pulse magic um see so yeah, i think that's really cool and of course the farther away from the bullseye you know the weaker the strength is gonna be what i think is be really cool for is um you know wireless redstone basically you could have a dispenser and you can have that dispenser shoot out an arrow across a long area a long period or you know long you know travel time and it could hit the target into the pulse and save you a lot on a. <laughs> uh you know redstone of course you know there's there's a lot of ways to do this i'm not sure how this is gonna change really redstone too much i think it'd be a cool addition um but we really just gotta experiment with it really test it out and really see what we can do with it um it'd, be, it'd definitely be a lot of fun for mini games and stuff like that like you know you have these guys moving around you gotta hit them if you don't hit strong enough it doesn't work out no and they definitely look uh really cool um, but yeah, there we have Realms Plus. Realms Plus basically is if you have a, if you have a ten player realm, you can now use some of the uh, what's it called uh, marketplace stuffs in your realm. You can download it straight into the realm for all your friends to play on. 
Um, and I think this is really cool because if you guys don't know, Realms right now can't support mod packs. Um, at least as far as I know, Dan Rob's probs maps like Sky Factory and Clay Dunder. Um, so on, they don't work on Realms. That's because Realms like don't have the correct files. I don't, I'm, I'm not really smart. <laughs> so I'm not sure exactly how it works. Um, but it definitely, it gives, it gives an opportunity for it. I'm not sure if they said it, but I'm thinking, hey, if it can, you know, let, you know, these marketplace mods work, then why wouldn't it, you know, just like self-made mods work? Like, you know, Dare Shop stuff. So definitely, so definitely a chance to see um, some, you know, mod realm capability again. Um, as far as marketplace stuff, I'm not too in touch with it. Um, I'm sure a lot of casual players will enjoy it. Um, and again, when you pay for the $10 for your realm, you get all the marketplace stuff with it. So <laughs> basically you get marketplace stuff for free by getting the $8 realm. Sorry, I said, I said 10, sorry, it's eight, um, $8 a month, which is really just like a couple like 90, 96, $96 a year. I, am, am I, I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not sure. I think, I think that's all right. Yeah. 96. Um, yeah, so it definitely looks really cool. I'm more interested in, you know. Oh, you also get the skins as well and all that. But I'm definitely more interested in like, you know, the outside modding stuff. And then Minecraft Earth, you guys will definitely be seeing me doing content on this on my phone because this looks really cool. Basically Minecraft Real Life, they're showing it off a lot more and showing more capabilities. And yeah, I'm definitely gonna be doing a lot of videos on this. I don't really have too many, you know, thoughts and what happened to his eyes right <laughs> there. <laughs> all right. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks really cool and interesting. I'm curious how it's gonna play out and I really can't wait. But then we head into uh, Minecraft Dungeons. You will 100% see me doing like a long, <laughs> long story mode playthrough of this on my channel. I will 100% be playing this. This looks so cool. This looks like a nice RPG, top down vibe. It really reminds me of Zelda um, a lot to an extent. You know, if just all these different enemies, all these, you know, different types of, you know, tools and weapons you can use. It just looks really cool. And I just want to shoot lasers. <laughs> I want to shoot lasers at pillagers, man. Like, what else more could you ask for, really? Um, yeah, uh, you guys definitely be seeing this for me. It looks absolutely amazing. I love how gloomy it looks, how so much attention and details put into it. Tons of new type of blocks, outside blocks, you know, it just looks really cool and I can't wait to play it. I don't really know too much about the gameplay just yet or, you know, how it's going to work exactly. It seems like, you know, you got your buttons. I think this is on a controller of some sort and got ammo AC right here and, you know, health, of course. And you got like objectives so yeah it's gonna be really cool um i can't see what they're gonna do with it and i can't wait to be playing it 100 so yeah stay in tune for that when it comes out i'll be adding just a little bit more gameplay of it really cool you got armor too and they've got the character creator this i think is you know a little little weird um i i think it'd be really cool for casual players they can make their own skins in here um it's kind of a new way to do it um <laughs> extra wide smile thank you for letting me know um i'm not sure if that's i don't know if that's a smile <laughs> um but yeah it looks really cool um i guess most of you casual players will enjoy doing this i myself like doing my own or having you guys make skins for me because that's really cool like prince made a really cool skin for me that i'm using right now that looks like the real life me instead of like the i like this like demon ct thing or like it was it was, it was like some weird evil skin but I think I'll be using Prince's uh, skin they made for me because I it looks a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely looks really cool. And I'm not, I don't know too much. Oh, we got the capes. Founder's cape. If you guys go into Minecraft right now, or not right now, I think it should hopefully still be there. If you go to Minecraft and you scroll, look around for a Founder's Edition cape, um, you should be able to get this cape. I have the skin myself, so you can have on your characters. It looks really cool. Oh, but then another, another update. Oh my god, bro. This looks absolutely insane. The fossils here, the blue fire on soul sand. I have no idea what these are. Like, you know, uh, like stalactites, stagites. You know, the things you find in ice in the caves. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what's called exactly. But I think it'll be really cool. Um, I know I've been saying really cool a lot, but uh, it, it just is. It is a lot of stuff. And I can't wait for all of this. Because, you know, the nether I go in there, I need some quartz. I need some, you know, blaze rods, potions, whatever. I need to kill the wither. I don't know, get some skulls. But now it really is to be biomes and all this new stuff. We got these uh, mobs in here, which are 100%. If you guys didn't watch Captain Sparkle's um, like whole revenge series, you know, um, Creeper. Oh, man. Like, that's like one of his. But he also did a Viva La Vida song. And then that was his first song. And then he did a, multiple songs in the series. Um, 
<laughs> he has pigmen or pigmen that look suspicious suspicious yeah suspiciously like this um <laughs> so yeah it looks really close um and this was really cool these guys will attack withers to my knowledge yep they will attack wither skeletons um and then we got these pig beasts which are really cool um, the new nether barms, like a little mushroom forest. These, like, coral, coral blocks, it looks like. I believe these guys don't have a name yet. They're making, or the community is going to be making it, and Mojix will be looking at it. Uh, but this, all this looks, looks really, really cool, honestly. And I can't wait. I'll definitely be doing some reviews and, you know, tutorials. If there's anything new that I may not know about the nether, I'll definitely be doing that. So make sure, if you know, subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment down below. I usually reply to almost all of them, you know. <laughs> um... Yeah, it, it, it really looks nice, and I really can't wait for it. And yeah, I think that is all. And yeah, that is all basically Minecraft Live um, highlights. But I also want to talk about um, the mountains. I voted, I wanted Badlands in the beginning. But, you know, Badlands... I feel like I feel like Badlands needed the most. You know, mountains are already cool because they're really high. Swaps already have some stuff. Badlands are like... Bro, is this, is this like terracotta and like whatever like gold mines whatever you're like bro that's nothing that's boring and it looks kind of desert and you know this brand there's nothing there so yeah well, i wanted balance but not so i voted for mountains just because i think that building like some cool castles or like st tower spires on top of those like mountains would look really cool um oh yeah see right here bees can pollinate um crops right there cc i was right um yeah that's gonna be really cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please do make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you guys have been ready, you know, subscribe to me and you already know how I've been. I know I've been posting too much. I haven't been posting too much, sorry. Um, I've just been really busy and, you know, really uncertain of my schedule. And it's it's just tough. It's just tough. I want to make good videos like this one, you know, well thought, you know, really, really delved in. Not just like quick ones that really take no time at all. And just with the time I have to record, it's just tough for me to do that. So, I, I'm really trying my best. <laughs> and I really do apologize for not getting as much as I like. I'm not apologizing to you guys. Well, yeah, let me rephrase that. I'm apologizing to you guys, but, you know, I'm also, you know, apologizing to me. Because I, <laughs> I want to get this out, and I can't, and I feel bad. So, my bad me, it sucks. Whatever. I hope you guys <laughs> had a good day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Have a good one.